What is up, everybody? How we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings. I use he/him pronouns. And welcome to the Friday Lifts. What's up? I forgot to turn this light on. Hey, hey, hey! How we doing? How we doing? Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in, Cat. Welcome in, PT. Welcome in, Gaston. Welcome in, J Corsair. Andy. Hello, Nikki. Hi, Gregor. Have a lovely rest of your day. I take it that you cannot stay, and I totally understand and appreciate that. Welcome in just the one tree. How are you doing? Evie has also decided to join us for the start of our stream, as she is wont to do. Come here. Come here. Good morning, good day, good afternoon to everyone, especially, especially Miss Evie Bean. She gets a smooch. Everyone, just so you know, that smooch that I just put on Evie's head was from all of you. It was from all of you. Congratulations, just by being here, you have bestowed the sweet girl with a little smooch on top of her sweet head. Did you know? Congrats. Congrats, everyone. How are we doing? Happy Friday. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna start getting right into it. Um, as you can see, we have a very full routine today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it without making modifications. Oh, right. right. Poison. The poison. Poison. The poison. For Cusco. Cusco. The poison. 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 Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to turn these down just a slight bit. I just changed out the batteries in my overhead lights. And uh, I have further been reminded that uh, the batteries do not really last that long. Pardon me, miss. Go on. Go on. That is literally the worst direction you could go in, but that's fine. Ooh. Who's the how's it? Boy, howdy, I'm out of it today. Evie got a run club smooch. It was a collective smooch. Are y'all familiar with collective smooching practices? It's kind of like the, the concept of community, um, uh, community restorative justice. Except it's, actually, there's nothing really better than community restorative justice. But I will say giving the dog a smooch on the head is, uh, is up there on the list of things that we need to make sure we are constantly doing. All right, let's get a warm up going. We're gonna start with some high steppies. I will be honest, I am very sore. My knees, I feel like I say this every Friday. Every Friday at the end of my uh, weekly training cycle, I feel like I'm struggling a little bit. Oh. I ate so many nachos last night. Is this your strategy, miss? Are you just gonna try to block me off? Is that it? Is that it, Evie? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, you're okay. Big, tall, up at the top. Swinging out, swinging back. Push the hips back, plant the hands down. If you wanna join me. And we'll walk the hands back up. Come here, come here. Place, right here. Good, yes. Sit right there. Yeah, there you go. Walking it up to the hands and opening it up big at the top. How was everyone today? How's that morning starting off? Ooh. I am behind. That's how I'm doing today. I feel like I'm really behind on content stuff. You're gonna see a flood of YouTube videos in the next couple of days as I get caught up on highlighting, editing, all those big, beautiful things. <sighs> Ooh, it's Friday! Also ate nachos for dinner last night. <laughs> Jay Pumpkin. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Jay Pumpkin nachos are so good. Anything from there, anything from there is obviously, honestly, so good. Do you like the sour beers, Chris? Max, hello. Or Vondrick, welcome in. Would you like a treat? Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit where everyone can see you. Okay. Good girl, go on. She's just waiting for her daily treats. She's just waiting for them daily treats. All right, we're gonna get back into the warm up. I'm a little out of it today. I won't. I won't lie. 
And, uh, you know, on the days when I either have to stream really early on Wednesdays or um, the weeks where I don't get to stream on Wednesdays, I'll be completely honest, it feels like going a month between streams. It's very strange. Like, I know very well it hasn't been that long since I've been on, but, like, boy, howdy. Like, what buttons do I push? What buttons do I push to get this thing started? So we're gonna lean over that right foot a little bit to stretch that soleus muscle right up underneath the calf. And we'll do the same thing on the left side, sitting back into that deep squat and just kind of leaning that knee forward. We don't wanna put too much load over the top of the knee while we're doing lifts, but while we're stretching and getting dynamic warm ups in, good to Good to get that plane of, of motion going. So we'll bring the feet in just a tiny bit. I'm gonna plant my hands down, or I'll grab my toes, or I'll grab the insides of my feet, whatever's comfortable for me. And I'll just push up and back. And we'll kind of pulse out. And this is gonna warm up that core. It's gonna warm up whew, those hamstrings. We'll do one more move here. Forgot to do this first. Palm down. On the inside, palm up to the ceiling. Right palm down, left palm up. Following it with the eyes. Since we're going to be just like getting right into squatting, oh, I just want to make sure we're all warmed up for it. Moon! How you doing, Moon? Welcome in. Welcome in. Everyone, I did my first locked post on Fan House last night. I took a look at one of the photos I took, and I was like, wow. That is showing more of me than I had really expected it to. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just, put, a little, I'll just put a little lock on there. We'll see how, how people respond. Glad it's Friday. Oh my gosh, me too. Me too, Moon. I get the feeling that you also had kind of a long work week. Maybe I'm projecting. I'm gonna do some monster walks and put this band right around the knees. Squat just the tiniest bit, just to get some glute engagement. And we'll just kind of like cowboy walk our way forward and back. Really just like squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hips. <sighs> Get a little bit of external pressure. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, maybe I'll do one more of these. But for now, it comes off. It comes off. Need a couple of shouts in here. Hey, Chris. Chris Bo. Uh, and Maximus. Go hang out with Chris and Max. Chris is a Mario Kart streamer. Chris is very good at Mario Kart. Um, does like world, does like global, global ranked play from what I understand, right? I'm just, I just enjoy watching the races, but. Tempted to buy this set of wax pastels to motivate myself to draw a thing a day. Ooh, hesitant to make the plunge. 60 bucks for the set. <laughs> Def had a long work week. I'm so sorry to hear it. I'm sorry to hear it. So I guess like, I don't know. Do you feel like there is another way that you can motivate yourself to, to do the thing? Because, like, to me, if from, from an outside perspective, if drawing is something that's important to you, or, like, making progress on your art this year is something that's important to you, $60 doesn't seem like a lot if it enables you to do something that you love or that you want to get into. Think about if someone who wants to learn to play guitar, cost entry for that, you know? Seeing these really cool pastel drawings on Insta, and it's inspiring me a bit. That's wonderful. I love that. <laughs> I, maybe someday I will get to a place where I'm feeling like I wanna do uh, that kind of art, but uh, it, has not, it has not struck me yet. I have, not, I have not gotten the bug. 
you know what would be good? If I put the barbell on, then I could put plates on the barbell instead of just uh, picking up plates and then trying to rack them on nothing like I was about to do. Whew. All right, now we can put weight on here. Wow. Wow. That's what I say to Evie all the time. Wow, what a good girl. Had a long week, but I didn't work most of it. It's like it's like that sometimes, Andy. Like even if you're not caught up with work, it can be a lot of uh, be a lot of emotional energy having a lot of free time. I like do firmly believe that. There we go. That's a little better. I'm struggling with wanting to do personal art again, but it's so hard to do it after work because I also design for work. That's, yeah, that's, that's tough, Moon. It's like how I really struggled to do, like when, I, when my job wasn't HR, I didn't struggle to do like HR studies and like listen to podcasts and stuff outside of work. But nowadays it's, it's really hard for me to do that. It's really hard for me to do that. Anything for you, Beyonce? <laughs> I've been with my kind of boyfriend for most of the week. I haven't slept at home in almost a week. Oh, shoot. I mean, that's exhausting. Like being away from your place and your stuff. And like, I don't know, even if you know someone really well, there's still a bit of emotional energy involved in spending time together. So I hear you, Andy. Noah. That's uh, not automatically an easy thing. Feels okay. Feeling all right. Not totally loose. Oh, the little music info thing isn't there. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's see if we uh, we working? Bobbity boopy. Okay. All right. Was AFK? Thanks for shout. It's my pleasure, Chris. It's my pleasure. Please go and check out Chris and Max too. I gave I gave Max a little shouty. <laughs> Gotta make sure y'all check out Max. Maximus Fit. He is the uh, the Maximist. He's the he's the Max of us. The best of us. This is the one I was looking for. Excuse me. A lot of emotional energy. He's going through some stuffs. It's taking an emotional toll on me too. Ah, that's really hard. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hello, Raiders. How we doing? Welcome in, Zach. Zach Raiders, welcome in, welcome in. How we doing? Hello, hello, Goosey. <laughs> Raiders, welcome. Hi, Chris. Welcome in. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. I use he/him pronouns. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we lift weights. Tuesdays, Sundays, we play video games all the time. We're an inclusive community. <laughs> all about getting moving in the ways that work for you. Welcome in, Gaswan. I like how your mic doesn't catch your screech after a certain high decibel. Honestly, I don't love that. I want it to just kind of like sketch out, but I don't want it to... <laughs> I don't want it to just cut out so much. I feel like I have so many clips where I'm screaming. My wife. Gaswan. Welcome in, Bill. Sorry, a lot was happening there. Yeah, it's just a hat. I'm just wearing a hat. I'm just wearing a hat. I got you covered, friend. Thank you, Andy. Thank you so much. Thank you for getting the shouts for us. But welcome in, Zachbot Raiders. Bill Coleman. Oh, damn. Zach's like, hey, now that I'm here, how about, how about you? How about you give me my wellness minute, huh? How about you give me 
my wellness minute. Welcome in, Raiders. We'll do a wellness minute. I can do that. Oh, that sweater is very nice, by the way. Oh, thank you. I am a, I am pumpkin spice streamer boy. Zach, how was your lift? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna put some weights on, and then I will come back to do the wellness minute because I want to make sure we're set up to go. What were you hitting today, big man? What were you What were you pushing on or pulling on? What were you smacking on, pawing at? What were you licking over there? What were you fondling today? Beans are in a bow. Test day breast day. We were fondling the breasties. I'm sorry. Why did I say that? I just wanted you to feel welcome. That's all it was. I just want I wanted you to feel seen. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. What wasn't I? <laughs> this is the better question. What did I not touch? All right, I'm gonna pause the music. Let me check my notes here. I literally just looked at these and I was like, yep, I got it. Oh, okay. Yay, okay. Hi everyone, my name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings, and welcome to today's Wellness Minute. Today's Wellness Minute is pick a meal. So, uh, I don't know if anyone is like me, where um, I really crave variety in my foods. Um, the, what I'm about to tell you may like give a different idea on that. Uh, or may tell you that I don't like variety in my food, but essentially what I'm going to say today is when you are trying to make changes in your diet, um, it can be really helpful if you pick one meal during the day that is your experiment meal. Now, by experiment meal, what I mean is really for me, breakfast and lunch, those are going to be pretty consistent things, right? For breakfast, I'm either going to have a big bowl of cereal or a moderately sized bowl of cereal, I'm gonna have oats, or if I'm in a really big rush, I'm gonna take a bagel out the door, right? Three things. I know that if I'm trying to make sure that I get my breakfast, I've got those three options. Lunch, when I'm working from home, I got tomato soup, I got salad, um, I got peanut butter and jelly, and uh, cheese and crackers. Those are my four like standard lunch meals. Dinner is kind of whatever, right? I've got different things that I am comfortable making for dinner. Dinner may have a little more time for me because I work a standard nine to five schedule, but in there, that's where my diet can have a little more play. So when I'm trying to cut weight, I know that I'm gonna eat oats and salad or oats and soup. But when I'm trying to gain weight, uh, I might switch those meals up a little bit and my dinner meals might be a little bit heavier. So the point today is don't try to make these huge, huge changes all at once because it's gonna be really hard to sustain long-term diet changes that are very extreme. If you are thinking of trying to fix your relationship with food or change your relationship with food, consider taking one meal to have as your loose meal. And that's today's Wellness Minute. Whew. I feel like it took me a really long time to explain that concept, but thank you so much. Thank you so much, Zach, for redeeming that wellness minute. Zurich, Zurich, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Pat, I'm doing great today. You're so welcome for the shout. I hope you're having a lovely day. How are you? Did you get snow? It's snowing right now. It's snowing right now. Zach, did you like that wellness minute? Was it worth your points? <laughs> a little bit heavier. Oh, welcome in, Snooks. How are you doing? I don't eat till 6 p.m. so I have enough cows to have a meal that's not super tiny. Right, right. And like everyone's eating schedule is gonna be a little bit different, but you gotta make it work. You gotta find out what's gonna work for you. And I know that when I'm on a cut, I can eat oats every day. I can eat oatmeal for breakfast every day for like weeks and be fine. But if I were to try to eat the same dinner every day for weeks, I would be absolutely miserable. I forgot to change my shoes. I feel like I owe you more points for that one. How about this? You rated, you rated, and uh, you have offered me your friendship. You have trusted me with your community. And so uh, that's, that's all I need, Zach. That's all I need. I don't need more points. I don't need more points. Can I get a shout for Snooks? Any available mod, Andy, if you have a moment? Um, ooh, get this set done. Ah. 
Come on now. All right, so I need 285. So I need 60 more pounds on here. I'm gonna do 25 and five. Is that correct? I think my math is right. But yeah, I'd love to hear about how y'all like the Wellness Minute, if there are things that resonated with you, if there are things that sound like they're complete garbage, boo shit, do let me know. And I'd like to hear about your Keystone meals. What are the ones that you go back to? Oh, thank you, Andy, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good, Andy. <laughs> No, you already did it. I just wasn't looking closely enough. I'm such a, I'm a dingus. I'm a mega dingus. <laughs> See, you understand. You understand. Relationship with food. What a crock of shit. JK. I'll rant about that if we want. I'll always rant about it. That's one of the topics that I love talking about. I love talking about things. <laughs> ah. The wellness minute made me hungry though. Are you gonna go eat a bowl of Cheerios? <laughs> Big old Cheerios stand right here. I freaking love Cheerios. I love them. I love my Cheerios. All right, so we're gonna do a 285 for two, twice. That's the plan. Ooh. No Cheerios. Probably an egg sandwich. That sounds even better than Cheerios. Start to eat more oats again. They're such an easy breakfast. Ravondra, did you ever do overnight oats? I had a job at one point where overnight oats were essential. Love that shit. High protein smoothie for breakfast five to six days a week and a half sandwich or ham Swiss melt for lunch most days. Dinner is where variety comes in for me too. Nice. Now who wants to watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall? I haven't actually watched that all the way through. Eat a bowl of cereal but ran out of milk last night. So we always keep a shelf stable oat milk around in case we run out of standard milk, which we did this morning. So I had some oat milk. But getting Sarah butt shawl. Okay, butt spot. Fox, how you doing? Welcome in. What are we firmly grasping? Uh, our jelly, our jellyfishing net. Firmly grasp it in your hand. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. It's a summer thing for me though. When it's cold outside, I prefer porridge. That's fair. That's hella fair. Honestly, oats don't take that long to make. Um, and so like. I don't know, I think about the time that I spend like rinsing off berries and cutting up bananas to go into my cereal. And like, I just can't, I can't like justify not having oats from time to time. I feel enlightened, thank you, yes. Hold on, it, it is a SpongeBob reference. Can you, can you confirm or deny that you are familiar with the SpongeBob reference? I make mine in the microwave, ooh, I make mine on the stove. I buy bulk oats. I buy bulk oats, and uh, I will eat just over half a cup. Lauren will eat just under half a cup. It's definitely a SpongeBob episode. The lid, the lid, the lid, 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 freeze! Evie, come on. Evie doesn't like SpongeBob references, I guess. <laughs> I forgot he did the impression. Okay. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Horseradish is not an instrument either. I can't eat breakfast because I find it's just so easy to have too many cows for breakfast. Eggs, bacon, sausage, coffee, ba baked goods, toast, jam. All those things are so good. And just a basic breakfast from a gas station or diner is like 1,200 cows. Ooh. Yeah, I do special breakfasts on the weekends. So, like, I'll, we'll do pancakes on Sundays. I'll make a big old eggy thing. Big old eggy thing. Evie, are you all done? Do you want to come tell me about it? All right, I'm going to try to get this set of two. We got two sets of heavy doubles today is the plan. Ugh. I mean, I loaded up less or more than this last week and it was fine, so.
Hold on. Now is not a good time, honey. Can you go in your crate? Go in your crate. Wait there. Good girl. Okay, come on out. You're okay. Come here. Come here. It's okay. I just didn't want you standing out there in case daddy had to dump the weight. Zach, thank you so much for bringing your community over here. Have a great day, my dude. Take it easy. Cooked breakfast are kingly. I love fried eggs, but I can't have them every day. I cannot allow myself to do that. Saturdays are my one hot breakfast day a week. We do sausage, forget about it. Easy 800 cal meal, yeah. See, sausage is so tricky. Breakfast meats are so tricky because there is such a high, um, they, they just have a lot of fat, you know? Not that that's like a bad thing, but if you are someone who's trying to control your calorie intake and you're looking for like meat or protein intakes, Sausage can be like, yo, hello. Oh my gosh, is that Daryl? <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in, Fanatic Raiders. Oh, it's Daryl and the Muscle Mommy. How are we doing, folks? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Fanatic Raiders, welcome. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. Hi, friends. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Running Sierra on Twitch. You see him pronouns Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. We lift weights Tuesdays and Sundays. We play video games. All the time, we're an inclusive community all about getting moving in the ways that work for you and enjoying stories together. I'm so late. I have to run. You have the best day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, y'all. Uh, at this point, I don't actually know which one of you would be talking. So uh, I'll just continue saying y'all. Dgen, hello. Welcome and welcome back. Thanks for joining in off the raid. <laughs> Jen dropped the salty ra Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened now. <laughs> oh, Thomas, hello. Sorry, timing was interesting. Doing well, having a good Friday and workout. Gonna drop a lurk and hopefully be back soon. Take care, everyone, and happy gains and maintain. Well, thank you, Thomas. Have a great day. We're gonna, gonna pop this top. Going to copy the topic. It was copied yesterday. Oh man. Oh wow. I have to be really careful with copying and pasting because I do it so much for uh for my job. I just have like <laughs> it'll be like people's like private information and I'll like there have been a couple of times where I've accidentally pasted something into a chat and been like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually send, right? I caught it before it sent, but um yeah, I got to be really careful about that type of multitasking in particular. <laughs> I've done that. It's scary. It's scary. I feel my stomach just like <laughs> feel my stomach fall out my butt. At my butt. Snooks, how are you doing? How's your how's your progress, friend? It's been a minute since we chatted. Seem like you've been in a good place. This is supposed to be pricing, but instead of this description. <laughs> Pasted emotes from Twitch into a work Excel while presenting, and it was, oh, no. I have this signed description. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Discouraged right now. I'm getting slow progress, though. Oh, well, I, I hope that flips around for you, buddy. I mean, we can, uh, I'm still open to talk like always. Wait, like what? Oh, it was, it was emo. So they just all saw like a bunch of like uh, Zach, Zach bot, but Zach bot, but Zach bot, but Zach bot, but right. First time chatter. What up, Nancy? <laughs> How are you doing? We got a Nancy in the chat. Welcome in. Welcome in. No, sh no shade, no shame in being a first time chatter. Go check out Nancy. Nancy's been streaming um, along with our, our, our pal Acro. And uh, 
Nancy's is just, Nancy's, Nancy's killing it. Made some really great progress. Really great progress. Nancy's making me want to start my cut soon. I'm just like, wow, that looks fun. And like, I don't normally say that. I'm normally like, wow, that, that's, that's going to be a miserable experience. I can put that off for as long as I need to. Well, welcome in, Nancy. Going to lurk for the work meeting. Hey, hey, have a good lurk. And you're welcome, Nancy. We got one more double. Where'd that dog go? All right, she walked off. We're fine. Don't want her coming up behind me while I'm squatting. Blech. Why doesn't it feel good? <laughs> Those felt clean. Clean. Thank you for the distant spot, Gaston. Free of charge. I did have someone reach out to me this week to ask me if I had any interest in being a paid training partner. Not like on Twitch, but to just like hang out with them in their home gym and like do my own thing and help them out and spot them. Don't talk. Here's the situation I'm in. Got new batteries for my body fat skills. So I'm at much higher than I wanted to be. Really wanted to be in good shape for my birthday. Lean by the summer. Right, I'm currently going. I won't even hit those goals this year. Thought 215 was going to put me at a good weight, but I guess it leaves me at 25. I don't know that it's. I don't know that it's gross, Snooks. Like I really hope. I really hope you're not forgetting like how much you've already like shaved off. You know that's huge. That's huge. But Nancy, you're so right. Like, I feel like I have gotten, I feel like I've done, done more, right? Since uh, having, the, having the Twitch community about. It's also like to help me stay in check with my espoused values, right? Like, I'm always talking about how I'm prioritizing staying healthy and injury free. And so to actually need to, like really do that publicly um, is a, it's a challenge, but it's good stuff. Uh, how much longer are you cutting for? <laughs> Salty, hello. <laughs> See you soon, Gaston. Get that it's better than where I'm at now. Hard that it's not what you want to look like. No, I, I hear you. I, I'm certainly not trying to, uh, to discount the uh, the brain war, right? Because that's that's super real. But it's also entirely possible that your scale is wrong. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that your scale could be wrong too. Bell, hello, Hearthstoner, hello. We are here for the firmly grasping. I don't like real people interactions for long periods of time, <laughs> unless you pay me. Yeah. No, I'm like I don't know. I'm still thinking about this, uh, this offer that this person made. It's really less about like wanting to do it and being open to it and more about trying to find time to do it. Because uh, it would be a little bit of a drive. And I'm changing up my training style in the coming, uh, in the coming weeks. We're going to be shifting a little more towards run-heavy training. So we can get ready for a half marathon, baby. 13.1 miles, baby. Hearthstoner, how was your week, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Cutting until I hit 110. Take another 15 pounds to go. Okay, so that's, that's, that's real slim. That's real slim. Good for you. Got distracted after replying to someone. It's okay, Andy. That's all good. It's 11.30, we've got just enough time to take some of this sweet, sweet pre-workout juice. Sweet, sweet juice. There we go. Come on! I'm trying to adapt my mindset to being so that I can be lean by summer 2024 instead of summer 2023. I think that's a good mindset change, Snoops. The goalpost should be moving, you know? 
I hope everyone else sees that, right? Like, there's always going to be times when you set a goal and you get, like, well on your way towards it and realize that uh, it might just, you might just have to move it back a little bit. But you got time. You got time. Time is on your side. Now I'm thinking about Grand Theft Auto. Patience is key, but it's hard. Ooh. Ooh. No, like, I don't know. For me, it's usually like the first two to three weeks of a weight loss or cut cycle um, are okay. And then I'm just like, ooh, I'm tired. Ooh, I'm hungry. Ooh. I've already slimmed down quite a bit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's just that's just it that's just the cycle i'm like keep going actually no keep going actually i'm fine actually keep going but thankfully running a lot makes it relatively easy to um keep the weight down snook says great sets Snooks has great sets. If you haven't checked out Snooks, um, Snooks is DJ sets. It's like a thousand cal burn. Damn, that's awesome. That's awesome that you can get moving in a way that's like super fulfilling for you too. I think a lot of a lot of folks struggle with that, just like finding the right thing. Okay, it's time for squats. What time is it? We're good. We're good. We're making good time. Making decent time. Got three more sets. Beauty. Four doos. Four doos. So it was looking good. I saw your progress photo. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Honestly, like, I, I know this may not hit super well with some folks, but shoulders have been an area of mine that I've always been pretty self conscious about. I don't know. I think it's like, I want to blame running, but I feel like I've never been able to add a ton of volume to my shoulders. And they always look, to me, they always just look like, uh, I don't know, not completely filled out. So, meeting got moved to 930. Is that a, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I can't tell, Jen. I had one 930 meeting, and then the rest of the day was free. So I felt pretty good about that. Self-conscious. Really filled out now. Well, thank you. I'm trying to get nice shoulders. I've lacked that myself. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, my, my problem with shoulders has always been I had one point in my lifting career where I was doing a lot of barbell OHP, and that's when I really hurt my shoulder. And, like, after that, it was really hard for me to think about going heavier on shoulders and putting a lot of work on shoulders. And so I think they dragged for a little bit. I mean, now, like, I don't know. I just don't feel like my uh, side delts have the, the size, right? Like, there's definition there, for sure. I think, I guess it is my front delts that I feel like are dragging. But, I don't know. Harder to tell right now. Only have the 9.30 today, so hopefully today stays quiet. Jen, I'm crossing my fingers for you. I hope you have a quiet day. Also, I've always like heavily um, uh, biased Arnold presses, right? Always heavily biased Arnold presses. Group doesn't schedule Friday afternoon meetings in case people need to leave early. Part of a work-life balance initiative they're pushing right now. I love that though. Like, I am. I have unfortunately been the person to be like, I can't find time for this anywhere else in the week. Like, is anyone like, like I always ask first, like, is, is anyone heading out early on Friday or? Do y'all mind having a meeting at like three o'clock, like one o'clock? See, my <laughs> I push meetings to later on Friday so I can lift. 
And so I make everyone else's Friday miserable so I could do this. Uh-oh. Oh no, I just realized that. <laughs> What's the glutes looking like though? They are looking juicy. Hey, I need a quick bio break. I will be right back. Okay, let's clarify. I'm not always that person. I'm not always that person. I just want to be, I want to be clear about that. It's not always me. But if it's like a committee meeting, if it's like a committee meeting for a long-term project and people are okay with meeting later afternoon on a Friday, I do, I do, I do do that. I don't discourage it. As long as there's beer involved, the later afternoon Friday meeting is great. Yeah. There's usually not. Doo doo. Doo doo. Hello, Rug. Evie, come here. Come here. Come here. Come tell me about it. She's just like on alert today. Come on down here, girly. Welcome in, Rug. It's good to see you. How was the rest of your stream yesterday? Good girl. Please. Tell me all about it. Tell me all about it, sweet girl. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a small treat, okay? Okay. Go on. Go on. I know you know there's more. Go on, girly. Go upstairs. Yes, thank you. Good job. Thank you for coming when I called you. I like coloring pixels. I I should give that a go. I bet it'd be really relaxing for me. I don't know if I... My, here's, here's my problem right now. I got so many games I want to play on stream, but I know that I'm not going to have time to play all of those games on stream. Do you know what I'm saying? We got two more sets of squats to go. Good day, sir. Primal Zombie, welcome in. Welcome back. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Who goes that? I still that Okami goodness. Gary, thank you so much for the resub. Yo, yo, that's a whole year. That's a whole year. Welcome in, welcome back, Gary. How is your day going? <laughs> My camera is not cooperating. That's fine. It's fine. Got so many good accessibility options considering it's free. You love to see good freeware. Evie. I'm sorry, y'all. She's normally not this barky, but Lauren is out today. Evie, that's enough. Come here. Come here. Come on. It's okay. Come tell me about it. Come here. Evie, come. I said, come, come here. No, she's being such a butthead. She's just chatty. Oh, see you soon, Rug. Gary, I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm running a little slow. Evie, come. Her barking is pretty muffled. Okay. All right. I just like the the thing that we are working on with her is like, what does what does what is she supposed to do? Hi, can you sit? Good girl, wait. The thing we're working on her is what is she supposed to do when she feels scared or when something is happening at the front door? Oh. 
Oh, that was bad. Uh uh. You wait there. Come here. I told you to wait. Sit. Good girl. Yes, yeah, she does have anxiety. Um, so the, the thing that we're trying to make sure we do with her is when she has a reaction to something, we want her to have a routine. And so we've been working on like, when she sees someone at the door, she doesn't just sit there and bark. When she sees the mail getting delivered, she doesn't just sit there and bark. She comes to us, right? CBD calming treats have helped my friends husky a ton. Yeah. So it's, it's a mix, right? Like we, okay, go on, go on, go back upstairs. Good girl. We have a multi-pronged strategy with her. Uh, <laughs> she feels very corporate, but she's on anxiety medication. Um, we've been trying to make sure that we get at least 10 minutes of training with her every day, three to four like decent length walks. Um, and also just like trying to manage her symptoms, right? So, I mean, being a German Shepherd, like she is just naturally inclined to freak out. Gary, thank you. How have you been? <laughs> oh, I'm glad the weekend is here. Let's put it like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm glad the weekend is here for you too. I'm a, uh, I don't know. It hasn't been that, that bad, that bad of a week. It's just been full. We had this big orientation thing, and once I got past it on Wednesday, I kind of felt like I was coasting. But yeah, Jen, we've also done CBD with her. We've done the calming treats, um, and we've done uh, CBD oil in her food. So like, when we know we're gonna have a lot of people over, we'll give her CBD oil in the morning and then CBD oil um, for dinner to try to like help her uh, you know, stay, stay a little more equalized throughout the course of the day. But I'm gonna put my hat back on. I like my hat. I got I got bad hair today, so I like wearing my hat. Just being melodramatic. Very much looking forward to a day off tomorrow. Sick. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I'll, I'll plug right now on Sunday. Instead of playing Fable, Paul uh, STL and Sam Alitical and I are going to be playing Seven Days to Die. So we're doing some we're doing some chaos chumps on Sunday. Um, Saturday is like a toss up on what's gonna happen right now. I'm trying to trying to figure out what that day's plan is going to be. But at 255. There we go. Yay, thank you, Andy. <laughs> Did you the same? Last time he walked up and peed on his own as brother. Not going to lie, it was the funniest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. I have one friend who uh, we've asked a couple of times for them to, like, come and just check on her when we've been out for an evening. And she is, like, essentially just, like, pissed on the floor the moment he walks up to the door. So, since it's a thing now, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. <laughs> yes, please go and check out our buddies, Paul and Sam. They are from the other side of the pond. Morgan! Hello. Have a great lurk. Yeah, poor, she, she, she's a poor baby. I think it, I don't know, it's, it's like a, it's a mix of things, right? Because he definitely fits the profile. He, he fits the profile of the kind of person that would just like scare the shit out of most nervous dogs, right? He is tall, he has a deep voice. He speaks like relatively loudly as just like a general speaking tone. Um, he has, he normally wears like a, a puffy coat. Did I mention he has a beard, wears a hat? Like he, he just, he, he very much has the energy of like, like he's super kind. Super kind person, like even though he doesn't really like dogs, he's been great with her, but she is just so afraid of him. And I feel so bad whenever she starts acting up. <laughs> oh, come on, let's get good form. Last one. Here we go. I was drawing just a little bit too far forward. Oh, here we go. 
Have a good lurk, Morgan. Flummox duck. Thank you so much for the lurk. Ah, but yeah, she's a she's she's a good pup, and she's getting better. I think it helps that she's getting older. Like, I love her youthful energy, and I would be lying if I said I wasn't like secretly just kind of hoping that that old dog mentality is going to start setting in sooner rather than later. Because the one thing that will not change, and we've tried many different approaches to address this, is when we leave the house, whew, when we leave the house and come back, her like response to us coming home is just like, has gotten more and more severe. Like she's sprinting back and forth across the house. She'll like jump up on me and like punch me in the kidneys, which I understand to be a pretty common husky behavior too. Like, welcome home, welcome home. I'm so glad you're here. Liam is anxious, but he's also just kind of an ass. He went to the lake and I was putting him on his line, proceeded to walk over to the edge of the bank, pee on the backs of these two guys sitting on their cooler. Oh my God. That's rude. That is extremely rude. Dang, yeah, no, she doesn't do stuff like that, thankfully. Yeah, she, um, thankfully she does not use pissing as a method of communication. When she loses her bladder control, it is entirely out of like, a lot, like a loss of control. He's not aggressive, just an ass, which is a funny, a funny thing for a dog to be. <laughs> He's gonna bite you. He might pee on you. He'll take the food right off your plate. He ain't gonna hurt you. God, that's so funny. Dog personalities are so wild to me. Like my world got flipped a little bit when I came to the realization that, and it wasn't a realization, it was like something that I had to read. Um, but just like the way that we prescribe uh, human emotions to dogs is not always, is not always proper, right? Someone dropped off a baby for me to watch. Someone dropped off their dog. Now I got two dogs and a baby to watch while I'm working. Whoa. What, what the deuce indeed? How does that happen? Snoops, I'm so sorry. Are you still going to be able to like, get your job done? That's frustrating. All right. Let's uh, bring in the cam for a little... Little bench action. How's that sound? I'm too nice, I guess. Well, if nothing else, you got a little bit of, little bit of. Hey, remember when I watched your kiddo with like zero warning? Two friends. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it's if it's emergencies, that's one thing. You know, that's cool. I'm glad you're helping out. I'm glad you're helping out and like. Here's one thing I don't think is uh, said often enough, is that like, even if you're doing something nice for someone, it's okay to like, internally just kind of complain about it, right? Like, <clears throat> like definitely have that self conversation of like, oh, this is for a good reason, it's fine. This is temporary, blah, blah, blah. They're in a tough spot, all that good stuff. But it's okay to also be like under your breath, like, shit, what a mess. As long as you don't reflect that to the other person, obviously. I don't know. I just feel like so often people feel like they can't feel their feelings um, just because they're doing something nice. And that's like not the case at all. They don't have to be mutually exclusive. 
Ooh. Notes. She'll only talk behind their back. Well, I mean, I think, so you being like someone with a partner, right? I feel like the way that you can process with your partner is kind of similar to how you process like personally, right? I've, I have fully accepted, and I hope everyone does. I've fully accepted that unless I specifically say, before I say something to a friend of mine, hey, please keep this just between the two of us, or like even if I say that sometimes, it's no guarantee. Like that conversation's going to the second person. <laughs> like for most people in their marriages or committed relationships, there is going to be some level of like, yeah, I tell them everything. So, you know, I just like to set expectations with myself and others. If there's anything I wanna like have a gold star for, okay, we gotta, Whoa. Reset these power blocks. So we're gonna do first a set of overhead tricep extensions with um, doo -doo -doo -doo. with twenty pounds, and then we'll go up to thirty. I don't tell my partner everything someone else tells me if it doesn't concern him. I mean, that's yeah. Like I'm not saying that's a universal thing, right? I'm just saying, like, some folks, when in doubt, maybe, maybe assume, lean to assuming that a person with a partner is going to, you know, spill the beans a little bit. Not even spill the beans, just, like, be honest with them if it's something that could impact their time or, like, their finances or whatever, right? or like connected relationships. This is not me saying that I am the, the bean spiller, so to speak. This is not a confession, I promise. I swear. I swear, friends. Oh, Gary, thank you. Thank you so much. Jay doesn't know anyone I know really, so telling him stuff, I may as well, may as well tell the wall. <laughs> I mean, he is a wall. He's a tall glass of water. I have not spoken to him in a while, but make sure you let him know how handsome he is. Respectfully. Tall glass of water, a wall, gla a wall glass of water. <laughs> Should I buy these wax pastels? Moon, I'm going, Moon, I'm, I'm gonna encourage you to do it. I'm gonna encourage you to do it. Because the worst that happens, right? The worst, the absolute worst that happens, you don't use them and you sell them or return them. The best that happens is they springboard you into something that you wanna be doing anyway, right? <laughs> sure, sure, Jan. Thundergun, what's up, buddy? How we doing? Welcome in, welcome back. Today was chest, shoulder, and arms day. So you're, you're beefy. You're feeling beefed up. You're feeling caked up. Beefed up and then caked up. Count so many years he's been signal. Welcome in, Jay. Welcome in. <laughs> Bought a crash mat today. That's my, ooh, nice. Yeah, I always wondered if that was a thing with pole. Like, kind of flumping off and, and hitting floor. I posted drawings on Discord to hold myself accountable. I'm gonna ask you about it, is that okay? If I don't see drawings, I'm gonna ask you about it. I wanna know when you get the set, and then within a week, I'm gonna ask about a drawing. Is that okay? Good thing I'm a carnivore. <laughs> Technically an omnivore. We're all a little omnivorous. It absolutely should be a thing if you don't have a spotter. 
Ask and make me do it. Okay, I will. I can do this. I can do that! Captain! Captain, I can do that! Woo! Let's do some Larson presses, everybody. My name is Cool Runnings, and we are about to begin the Larson presses of our time. We are going to begin the no leggy presses. Oh. All right, I may have over programs. We'll see how the next ones feel. I can do stick figures. I can stick do figures. That's really, it is, it is very teal green blue, isn't it? It's a, it's, it's funny, like I feel, I feel like sometimes I can't really tell color differences, but right now I can tell the difference between rugs and Jay's color. <laughs> Plans for the weekend. Oh man. Well, I know that on Sunday, we're doing some gaming. Lauren picked up a shift on Saturday. So I have a, I have a free day that I'm supposed to be doing some productive things with. I have an exam that I should be studying for. Whew. I might drop this down a little bit. I'm realizing the combo I set myself up with might not exactly set me up for success here. <sighs> but what if, what if we did 25 instead, huh? What if we did 25 pounds instead of 30 pounds? So that we could still do all of our Larson presses. I tried doing Inktober three years ago and it lasted four days. It's a lot of work to draw every day. Even if you set small goals, starting my weekend of figuring out how to secure a path to net zero plan for my daughter's daycare. Holy shit, one tree. That sounds like a lot. <gasps> oh my god. Copperfield sent me some foot masks, so I'm gonna put that on too. That sounds so relaxing. That sounds so relaxing. What are you gonna play? Also learned that a quick, albeit slightly inefficient way to take down my outdoor Christmas lights is to accidentally run them over with a snowblower. You know what, one tree? You're right, that's extremely efficient. Well, sorry, inefficient. It's efficient if you think about the time to time to take down ratio. I'm sorry though. Man, and Christmas lights don't ever get less expensive year to year. <laughs> what is happening? Is that a raid? Holy heck. Hello, raiders. Boredom, welcome in. Hang on just a second, pals. Let me finish racking up here. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Running here on Twitch. I see him pronouns. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we lift weights. Tuesdays, Sundays, we play video games all the time. We're an inclusive community all about getting moving in the ways that work for you. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, Boredom. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. We're having a... We're having a nice lift. A nice lift. I'm probably, I should be speeding up a little more than I am, but I've been enjoying the chats, so I'm going to keep enjoying the chats. We're doing some Larson presses. How are you? How was your lift? What'd you get into over there today? Raiders, take care of yourself. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Grab a walk. Grab a pet. Rub them on the head. Give them a little, little smooch. Grab a butt. Grab a butt. You could also grab a butt. 
consensually grab a butt. Grab your own butt if you want. Grab Rocket's butt. Hey, go on over and grab Rocket's butt. If you would, if you would be so kind. Go grab Rocket's butt. Consensually. From across the internet. How you doing, Rocket? <laughs> How you doing, sir? Good to see ya. Good to see you. There's a landmine full body workout. Boxing hand speed drill and some plyo box jumps. Nice. Oh, I wish I had space to do jumps in here. I'd be jumping all over the place. I mean, it would be jumping like on a box, but like, you know what I mean? All over the place. <laughs> Possibly getting rid of the natural gas boilers, powering the furnace and installing electric heat pumps. Ooh, I've heard about that one tree. That's a, that's a huge job, but you get like a ton of money from the government for doing it. If you do it. It's like a lot of upfront cost, from what I understand. Good, dude. How are you? Dig a hole, get in the hole, jump in the hole in the box. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I should just put a hole in my basement. If I, if I raise 500,000 channel points, I will put a hole in my basement. I am entirely kidding. I'm not putting a hole in my basement. Not for anybody. <laughs> but I'm good, Rocket. It's been a, it's been a busy work week. Um, and like today is kind of coasting a little bit more. So um, no meetings. I just got an appointment later this afternoon. So... Love my box. I was bored one day, so I built it with my dad. Didn't want to spend the money to buy one. I ended up buying one um, just because, like, not not just because I needed I needed a a like box squat and um, multi purpose box, and I didn't. I was really worried that I wouldn't do a good enough job on my own. I'll be talking about holes. <laughs> put it under your deadlift platform and put the platform on hinges. Are you saying that I should make a trap door? It sounds like you're saying I should make a trap door in my basement. And I don't hate the idea. I will be completely honest with you. I do not hate that idea. All right. I have four scheduled or four, uh, four programs. We're not going to, I don't think we're going to do four. Initially, it was going to be one top set. And then, uh, We'll just do it. Whoa. Fine, we did four. All right. I'm going to adjust a little bit, though. I'm not going to do 205. I'm going to do 195 for six. Because, uh, I can't be pushing that hard every day of the week. Not sustainable. Two by fours for the brace already. So I had to buy a sheet of plywood. That's rad boredom. That's really cool. I really want to build more stuff. We can call it the thirst trap door. Oh my God. <laughs> Someday I'm going to build a deadlift platform. Need to finish raising money for my new rack. Oh, rocket. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, mine, uh, so I built the, this one first, right? A single horse mat and one four by eight piece of plywood <sighs> along with a box of uh, wood screws. The longest part of that process was airing out the horse mat. After that, it was a, uh, it was really simple put it together. Oh. But I'm really glad I did it. And I was so proud, you know? That's the other thing about building your own stuff. What a proud feeling. Standing on a thing that I spent a not insignificant amount of time measuring and cutting and drilling. It's just fun. You're in emo pop punk music. I am. I am. Jordan, hello. Going to be streaming in February. If you want to see FF9. Oh, I do, Jordan. I do. I will absolutely stop by. I'm already following. Good. I have a fitness related question. Do it, DGen. Ask away, please. So close to playing FF9 again for a millionth time. I still haven't actually played it all the way through. <clears throat> uh, does Larson Press build a better physique for aesthetics, assuming you perform it correctly and your bar path pushes from chest towards your head when you press up? 
So Brunkovic, the answer is like yes and, right? I think Larson press can be a really good, and I, I use it as a, as a variation of bench press. Um, I don't only do Larson press, right? So I do bench once a week, standard bench once or twice a week. Right now it's once a week. And then I work in Larson along with that. So it can help with making sure that like you are engaging your upper body properly when you're doing bench, rolling your shoulders back, tucking your lats in and getting like, again, good upper body engagement and not just lifting the bar entirely from the hip drive. Because when you're doing a standard bench press with good form, you are driving from the hips. You're pushing through your heels back into the wall or back into the, the back of the rack more so. And you're using that additional bit of force to press the bar from the sternum. <clears throat> Larson press can be great for aesthetics if you're doing some volume work, right? If you're going for aesthetics, you're gonna to wanna to lean more towards higher volume. Got approval from the wife to rearrange my whole garage to make my stream set up better once I get the new rack. What kind of rack are you getting, Rocket? I love that fitness folks call them horse mats. Because they are. <laughs> DJ, I want to make sure I don't miss your question. So no eggs and spicy noodles for me today. Just eggs. How many egg? Please tell me you haven't done a gym and started FF9 and left VV in the well. No, I haven't. I haven't even started. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, Jordan, that sounds like a lot of work. Holy, holy hell. YouTube channel called Punk Rock MBA that I've been obsessed with. It's all about the history of bands and genres and stuff. I might give that a look. That sounds fun, Rocket. Sorry, I'll put myself back up here. I'm trying to get caught up in chat. Epically hosed myself on Wednesday doing an hour of TRX with my boss, and I went too hard. Trap shoulders, lats, and everything are hella pissed. Any suggestions for how to help with the doms? Yes, I do have suggestions, Jen, but let me get caught up first. One sec. Oh, goodbye, eggs. Boredom, have a great, hey, have a great day. Thank you so much for bringing your, your community over here. Thank you so much. Titan X3 tall boy, I had the X3 foldable. When am we get the flat foot one? Yeah, I'd love a taller rack. I just can't, I just can't do that. I just can't do it right now. Better to have not started than neglected the best character. We're going to make sure Vivi gets lots of time and energy and care. Stall mats, okay. They're not horse mats, they're stall mats. <laughs> Titan X3 tall boy. Titan X3. Giant dong version. That's whatever rack Rocket has. I better finish this pre. Jordan T, hey, way to go, way to get it in. Thanks for stopping in. Best wishes. Excuse me. Okay, so DGen, to help out with your upper body doms, like really, uh, if you have done a lot, if you've gone a little bit, you heard me, Jay Light. If you've gone a little too hard, um, really the only thing that's going to help with doms, doms is like a hangover, right? Like the only real thing that's gonna help is just like time, but you can make it a little less miserable if you are doing a couple of additional things, right? So if I've got like lower body doms, so if I have like a really tough leg day, um, what's gonna help more than anything is just like getting up and walking around every couple of hours. And so Jen, if you're already in the sore spot, you should be like, it's, it's gonna be a little bit tougher, especially with upper body. And if you've already reached this point, you might have some trouble, but really like anything you can do to get your body moving. So if I've got like really sore traps, really sore uh, chest, shoulders, all that stuff, it's just things like arm rotations, right? I can do them seated. I can do, I'm doing them uh, seated right now because I don't have a lot of room. I'm doing some arm rotations, going backwards, both ways. Now I'm not trying to do anything that's going to be like really heavily resistance based because there is a, a school of thought that like if you totally overdo it to just get back into it the next day. Um, but really any like 
tiny bit of resistance to just like get your body moving. Uh, if that's like band pull aparts, right? If you're taking a band and pulling them apart at the middle, if you're doing just a couple of squats, the move that I do at the start of each stream to warm up before doing squats, where I'm down here and I'm kind of like doing these rotations can be really good for getting some blood flow and getting some good healthy rotation in the spine. But it really is, you just want to like, you want to get your body moving um, and get some blood flow because what's happening, and I, I think you're probably familiar with this, is um, you have a, a buildup of lactic acid in the areas that you have uh, overworked a little bit. And so that, act, that lactic acid is not gonna be like tearing you apart, but it is just going to be uncomfortable and until, it, um, until it fully metabolizes and passes through. Uh, so just keep moving, keep drinking a lot of water. That's all you can do. And try to get good sleep. That's the other thing. I tried resisting Big Bessie, but I couldn't. Oh, Sega. Oh, no. Did you go down the rabbit hole? <laughs> Jay Corsair, I don't know if I said hello to you today, but welcome in, friend. You were like one of the first people in stream today. Did mobility with Nin last night, but way worse today. Can't raise my arms over my head. You just got to keep trying. You just got to keep trying. Because like sometimes, uh, sometimes your body thinks that it doesn't have good range of motion, and you have to be like, listen, I know you can do this, we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna take it slow, but you're gonna do it. All right, let's get these Larsons. 195 for six is the plan. But Jen, let me know if that's, uh, if that's helpful. If you'd like a little more specific information, I'll do my best. We got one more set of tricep overhead extensions. We drop these down to 25. Not big Bessie. Sega, how you doing? I'm doing great, friend. I'm here. I'm lifting weights. Oh yeah. Ha. We are uh, we are trying to embrace Big Friday energy. I'm trying not to get too saucy. I feel like I have slowly trended towards being a little more saucy. I must monitor my sauce. Gary, have a good day, buddy. Thank you so much for popping in. Let me know if you want to talk about oh, any fitness stuff at any point. Get a picture of some cow udders. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not the corner I thought you were heading towards. Thinking about taking an Epsom salt bath tonight as well. I don't know if that would do anything. It might, it might feel real good. I do uh, Epsom foot baths when, uh, when I get into like really heavy into running season, I'll do an Epsom salt foot bath like up to my ankles because that ends up being like just really tight. Also, don't be afraid to like massage areas a little bit, right? Don't take this out of context. Just get your thumb in there. How come I can sometimes do 20 reps on a machine to failure? Second set becomes 14 even though I did four minutes of rest. Chest machine, for example, Already done four sets of bench and three dumbbell overhead press sets. Any tips on how to go about volume? I know you're doing the right things, doing enough. So Brunkovic, um, the first thing I'd say is don't go to failure on your first set. Like if, uh, if anything, so say like you've got, I'm just gonna throw numbers out there. Say you got 90 pounds on that machine, right? So you got a plate and a plate. And you know that your absolute maximum is 20 reps of that, um, you should like pretty much pr like al almost never do that as your first set. 
if you are trying to make sure that you get a good pump and like really burn it out, like you can do that as your last set, but only do that once per week. Because really, like when you are doing, when you are trying to lift weights and build muscle and build, like make your muscles adapt to what it is you're doing, if you are constantly like pushing yourself towards the very end of what you're able to do, you're not building more capacity to, you're not building more capacity to do that movement more. So if you like break that down, right? Like here, I'm pull up calculator, right? Now this is a very simple, this is like very, like oversimplified, right? So if we do 20 times 90, right? You have moved 1800 pounds. So if you moved 1800 pounds and in your next set, you can move 14, whatever. Like you want to, over time, increase the amount of sets that you are, or the amount of reps that you're doing in a set period of time. So if you do 20, 14, uh, and then 10, because you're so burned out, what's that? That's 34? No, sorry, that's 44. If you move that to like 20, uh, like five by 10, right? <laughs> then you're doing more reps, you're moving more weight. Don't stop on our account. <laughs> Labor self-examination. Whoa, Bill. Yeah, keep us posted. Let me know what happens. That's really scary, friend. Take a recovery day and take today as well. Bunch of extra stretches, rest is important. Rest is very important. <laughs> Muscles fatigue after that set in terms of byproducts produced by the effort as well as your nervous system incurring some fatigue. I recover after a long period of time, especially after going to failure, maybe a few hours to a day or two. So you can't expect to repeat the same performance. That's probably a much more concise way of putting it. But if you are trying, I mean, Brunkovic, what's your goal? Like, I'll ask you straight up, like, what are you, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get bigger muscles? Are you trying to get stronger? Because the way that you approach your training is gonna, should be different based on each one of those goals. That's a rough one. So we're all done with uh, single arm tricep extensions and we just got one more set. Upper body two times per week and lower two times per week with core, some biceps, rear delts. Yeah, that's a good training split. I would focus everything in the eight to 14 rep range. If it is muscle and aesthetic that you are chasing entirely, don't, don't go above like 12 or 13 reps. Your 12th or 13th rep should be your, your hardest rep on your last set or like the last four reps of that last set should be like really challenging. But you should not be at the start of your set like totally fatigued because you're probably not warmed up enough, right? Like even if you do a warm up routine, your uh, your first if you're going right into a movement, that first set is always going to be a little sloppier. <laughs> McFitzy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. What about sets and exercises per muscle? So the general the general um, advice, and I, I say general advice, but this is actually like they're doing a fair amount of research on it now. You don't get much benefit out of doing more than 20 sets per week for a particular muscle group. That's what the most recent research shows. So like, I gave, a, I gave an example to someone else the other day, um, and, I'm just, and it was actually about chest work, so I'll just pull that, I'm just gonna pull it up. Let's see if it pastes in here. So, like if you don't wanna do compound lifts, right? Like something like that could be helpful for you. 
Because really, like, if you are following the principles of progressive overload, which is doing more in some way week after week, whether that's increasing the amount of reps, increasing the weight slightly, um, or decreasing the amount of rest, like, if you follow that progression, you'll be, you'll be able to, to get some, some good gains. Um, but what I would say, you're welcome, you're welcome. And what I would say too is if you are someone who is not currently doing compound exercises with a barbell, um, consider doing that, right? Consider trying to work up towards having really good bench press form, really good squat form, really good deadlift form. Start small, focus on form. Like my like core, and like when I say core, I don't mean my abs, I mean my entire core. Um, is stronger in these last couple of years because I've been doing deadlifts and because I've been trying to get stronger on deadlifts and it's helped all of my other lifts. So, my wife. Grady, hello, welcome in. Welcome in, greedy years. <laughs> That's fun saying, thank you for the my wife. What are you supposed to do for progressive overload in a deficit? I feel like I'm going to be going through this for another year. It's already about a year already. I haven't gained any strength the whole time. So Snooks, you raise a, you raise a really, important um important point and that is uh being in a deficit it's it's really hard to make strength and uh it's not impossible right but it's it's hard to make strength gains um you are more likely to see muscle recomp happen in a deficit if you're keeping a high protein diet you're getting good complex carbs um and you're doing enough you know like not a ton of super intense cardio um you will see some muscle building along with fat loss but you're probably not going to get that much stronger. It's going to be very hard to get like much stronger in progressive overload. I'm led to believe I'm wasting my time by not adding weights to my lifts. I don't know who told you that. <laughs> I don't want to just like completely uh, like tell. I don't want to just be like standing up here and saying like that's that's uh, that's that's wrong. But TRX thing on Wednesday was random. Had a vendor that lost a bet with my boss. I'm going to take one of her classes at the gym at work. Just trying to do more than I'm ready for. Oh, yeah, Jen, you just, you just need some rest. A little bit of rest and you'll be good. Yeah, you did it, Moon. Way to be. Way to order it. <laughs> Original Mr. Blobby costume from the 90s is available on eBay right now. Don't tempt me. How much is it, Greedy? Are we going to start a bidding war, like right here in this chat? Um, but yeah, Snooks, I, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to say that I disagree, right? Like... I would say that if your if your long term goal is to just is to get stronger, like definitely try to work in some progressive overload while you are on your cut. But but um, it is not a waste of time if you are not consistently adding weight to your workouts. Now you can, especially if you're on a deficit, you can work towards. Uh, Reducing rest, I think that's a great overload method when you're in a deficit. Ah. Ooh, wow. Oh. Gen C is soon. 8,900 pounds. Fine. 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 It's chump change. Chump change. It's not chump change. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. All right, we got to move some weights around. In a deficit right now. <laughs> Enough about my bank account. Enough about my debt. All right, we're going to put this here because we're gonna be switching to uh, hip thrusts in a moment. If anyone saw hip thrusts on the menu and you got excited, I am pleased to announce that it is now almost time for those. Hip thrusts, baby. Do you believe in love after love, after love, after love, after love, after love? I can feel something inside me say, I really don't think I'm strong enough.
Yeah, so I don't want to harp on this too much. Um, but for people who are on a longer term weight loss journey, being consistently on a deficit is an emotionally hard thing to do. Like, do not forget along the way that you are fighting your biology. Your body wants to either gain weight or stay the same. And when you are trying to lose weight, you are, you are, in, in your body's terms, you are spitting in the face of evolution. What if all the food disappears, your body will say? What if we have a long winter? What if we cannot find sustenance? Should we not be storing? And you're saying nay. But don't listen to your brain. Aren't you fighting your biology in a surplus as well? To an extent. <clears throat> to an extent, but not so much, right? It's kind of the opposite. Your, uh, your evolutionary urges would say that you need to consume resources, more resources, to again, prepare for the long winter. I very much recognize that what I'm talking about right now sounds like loose bro science. And some of it is, I will own that. However, whoa. <laughs> My body doesn't put up much of a fight when I overfeed it. <laughs> I love a loose bro, excuse you. Excuse you. No, Jay, you got the lyrics right. You got the lyrics 100% right. Hashtag science. We're, do we're doing science. But yeah, I mean, try not to think too hard about it, right? Like, don't, don't like weigh, don't put too much weight into the idea of like what's happening in terms of biology. But if you're ever stuck and you're like, why am I so hungry? Why am I having so much trouble controlling my cravings? Um, you can have some comfort in the fact that your body just like doesn't want to do a lot of these things just naturally. Bro science source, trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. I've watched like all of Jeff Nippard's videos, bro. Bro, I met, uh, I met Jeff Cavalier. Where is my, oh, there it is. I was looking for this damn thing and it's just like sitting right in front of me. Those cravings, though. Yeah, I am going to be shifting to a maintenance period in the next few weeks. We'll do maintenance for a little while, and then we'll shift to a uh, we'll shift to a cut after that for a bit. Ah, okay. So we're gonna put 275 on here. I just wanted to get a warm up set in. I ain't done these in a minute. No! Give one more shout out to Fights Like Gaston. Gaston, I know you're maybe lurking around here right now for uh, helping me out with uh, this hip thrust cushion. Literally cushion for the pushing. Jeff, no, 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 I'm not, okay, here's the thing. I'm not shitting on Jeff Nippard at all, at all. He is, in, he is incredibly good. Like among the, among the folks on the internet, he has probably the most like scientific, he and Dr. Mike, like extremely good approaches. That was more a shot at someone who would use watching those videos as the basis for like 
as, as, as like their only basis for knowledge, right? Also in welcome in Kusros. How you doing? <laughs> My fitness friend that lifts weights and talks to people. How we doing, Kraya? Welcome in. Yeah, Janips is a Janips is a good dude. How we doing, Kraya? Michael, hello. How's it going? Happy Friday. We're just getting into some hip thrusts. Ugh. But the idea being like, we all get all of our information from multiple sources, right? I got a lot of respect for Jeff. Both Jeffs, both YouTube fitness Jeffs, honestly do recommend for a fitness know-how. Powerlifting meet tomorrow, get my head in a good space, word, word. What's uh what's what's your preparation look like for your for your meet? Okay, so then we're gonna also work in a kneeling Arnold press. I'm gonna start that with this next set. We'll lay something out. Barbara is an experienced auntie with the warm hands like a mother. I always feel cozy and safe when I go there. That sounds really nice, Bill. That sounds really nice. Michael, how's your uh how's your Friday going? We're just gonna Plop this down here. We'll be kneeling inside of this space. Sorry for stepping out of the space. Okay, we're gonna do 45, so that's the green ones. Whoop. Got these like backed up right into the power blocks right now. Going well. Nice lifting session this morning, then ran extra. How many miles a week are you doing right now, if you don't mind my asking? Because uh, I've been getting prepped to start really increasing my weekly mileage. I've been around 10 to 14 miles a week tops, and it's time to start really uh, bumping that up. I guess I shouldn't have said that thing about Jeff Nippert, huh? I hope I didn't piss anybody off. Normal week without maxing on my three lifts. Didn't took a rest day Wednesday. Some accessories, resting tonight. Better early get a good sleep. Good on you, buddy. That sleep is gonna help more than anything else. Body is definitely feeling tired this week after adding some extra workouts. 25 a week, but 25 is a good, uh, that is like a perfect, like off season training amount. That's rad though. Are you doing a spring race? I know you have a fall race lined up that we talked about. Ooh. Ah. Uh. All right. I did really bop this, didn't I? Thought I had plenty of room. <laughs> All right, I got you. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Kusros. I always get a little self-conscious about stuff like that. I don't want to dunk on anyone too hard. <laughs> Are you, uh, are you training right now? What kind of stuff are you doing? Got something mixed up. Dexter and Arbor half again, right on. Yeah, I'll be doing Toledo. I don't usually say that out loud, but I was, I was doing my other race 
and they had signups for Toledo at that race. And they're like, you can save $30 if you sign up now. And I'm like, shoot, that's, that's great. They gave me a hat too. Past week I've been working on four more than anything, focusing on breathing and some really cool tricks for benching. Like cues, I'm open to hearing any of them. My bench form has come a long way, but it's still, I still feel myself like, like when I lose focus, flaring out a little bit, leaning into the shoulders just a little too much. Just, I keep trying to keep those, uh, keep the shoulders pinned back, keep the lats engaged. I feel like the only person not contributing to a healthy lifestyle. Jay, that's not cool. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. A social lifestyle is important. Or at least knowing like what your, what your social needs are and knowing how you're engaging socially. Been wanting to do Toledo. Apparently it's super fast. I'm not planning to be super fast when I do it. I'm not planning to be super fast when I do it, but like I know it's gonna be a while before I beat my old half marathon time. I was looking back at that and I was like, how? Like, I, I must have been in some kind of shape when I set that time. Kid with issue, screening all the accounts, accounts, been reporting him and explaining to you, attack people what's going on. No, that's good, Bill. Service is service. I'm glad you're helping those people. I'm glad you're helping them. Widen my grip by around two inches. If you shift your forearms, like you're trying to bend the bar in half, activate the lats and add some explosive power to push the bar back up. Interesting. Let me, I'll, I'll think about that next time I'm benching. Cause there's like, cause based on the, I mean, every neural is a little bit different, right? But most of the like good bars you would buy have the competition level, um, like the competition width neural, as I understand it. Andy, welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Hip thrusts. Can we do it? Of course we can. Here we go. <laughs> Whopped forward just a little bit too much. Back is digging into the bench. <sighs> Can't let the bastards win. Uh, I have slowly been widening my bench grip, but I don't know. Some days it feels good, some days it does not. Cusp of a narrow medium grip or a wide close grip, finicky spot. That's where I feel super comfortable. Apparently, I have super strong triceps. I do not. The tricep is stored in the balls. I'm sorry. <laughs> it amuses me when that kid used another. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's butt. Tricep is stored in the butt. Look at them triceps. I mean, they're, you can see them, but they're not really that strong, you know? Like, I've definitely had some tricep gains. So, I've made some good progress in the last year on my triceps, for sure. <laughs> but they don't have as much volume as they could. I really struggle with pushdowns. Also payback, welcome in, welcome back. How much weight do you pull down single arm tricep pull downs? 
You know what? I don't actually know. I always do the, I go back and forth between the bar push down and the rope push down with two hands. I don't know that I've done a single arm push down in a while, but it wouldn't be a lot, Kreia. I can like barely do a set of uh, 12 with 50 pounds on this thing with doubles. Like, I don't know if it's my machine. I don't know if it's like actually that I just don't have that kind of force. And I just, I just, I need to keep working on it, but. Yeah, okay, you got strong triceps then. That's beefy as hell. How long have you been working out? What does your split look like right now? So Brunkovic, I have been working out more seriously for like five or six years, you know? Like really thinking about um, like preventing injury and like getting stronger and I don't know. There's like different stages of like serious, you know? Cause I had a period where I did a lot of running and like really focused on that lost a bunch of muscle mass, and then like now I'm coming back into where I was before then. So, <laughs> welcome in payback. When you push down, imagine your SpongeBob pushing down the barbell made out of balloons. That's what it feels like, Bill. That's what it feels like. My current training split right now, um, and I'm experimenting with this one, this is the first time I've done something like this, is um, pull, push, pull, push with days of running in between. So it is Sunday, pull day, with, uh, with dead lit here. I'll just, oh no, I don't have it written down here, do I? So my first day is missing because I had to change, fuck it, I'll just pull up the old. So I just switched notebooks. So this is like the, <laughs> this is like the end of one of these notebooks. But uh, current split, Excuse me. Current split is Sundays, a pull day with deadlifts. Monday is squat bench push day. Tuesday is run. Wednesday is deadlift bench, deadlift and bench on a primary pull day. And then Friday is a primary push day with squat and bench. And I also run on Thursdays. So um, Saturday is currently my rest day. Eventually I'm gonna start working um, long runs on Sundays, and that's gonna be the, the big change. So, no Taco Tuesday. Not lifting on Taco Tuesday, I do running on Taco Tuesday. Tuesday ends up being like one of my biggest eating days per week. When is squat day? Today was squat day, Hayden. Today and, uh, today and Monday. So Mondays and Fridays, we do squats here. How are you doing? Welcome in. Do you run to McDonald's or ride in a car? I have not been to McDonald's in months. Like, I only go to McDonald's on road trips, basically. That's, I'm not trying to flex. <laughs> like, my, my wife just doesn't like it that much. So, like, she'll, she'll want to get fries or something, like fries and a McFlurry when we're taking a long road trip, but... No, no. I mean, people should have fast food sometimes. Like, you should definitely do it from time to time. Ain't nothing wrong with the little occasional indulgence in ye old Mickey my D's. Wife. Thank you for the my wife. Yeah, like, if, if, uh, if Lauren and I are going to do fast, fast food together, we're probably going to, like... I mean, it's, it's just like, it's so rare, but we might go to Arby's. We'll get like pizza, you know? <laughs> ah. They're good for me. I need to keep doing hip thrusts, because they're good for me. They're not my favorite. They have pizza. No, they don't have pizza at Arby's. Come on. <laughs>
Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. <sighs> I love, I really do like Arby's out of the, out of the options, right? I will talk about my cravings in just a moment. Jade! Can I get a shout out for Jade? Welcome in, Jade. Welcome in, Jada Gaines. Looking beefy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I shouldn't miss anything. The McFlurry was invented where you live? What? <laughs> I wrote a college paper about the McDouble, actually. It was awful. Looking back at it, I really dislike myself for it. <laughs> no. Yeah, there is, a, there is a platform where you can pay money for more shirt removal. But I can't do it on Twitch. And it wouldn't. It's free. This is a, this is a free thing. I'm just warm. Just warm. Serratuses? Are you talking about those serratuses? No one's right, right, right up there. I haven't worked them in a while. How are you doing, Jade? How was your day? <laughs> 2.5 weeks, I gained two inches on my chest and lost an inch in my waist. What? What? Excuse you. Sorry. Sorry. But friends, uh, please, please go check out Jade. Jade's an extremely, extremely well-informed trainer. Super inclusive, super welcoming, super awesome. Doesn't take shit from, from the boo shits. And uh, it's just a lovely human. Please go and hang out with Jade. Slowly catching up on work from when I was sick. How, do, you, do you have a lot of clients right now, Jade? I've, I've been talking with one of your clients about your work together. Um, and super gay. I don't know why that wouldn't get allowed. But yes, that is hell. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better though, Jade. Super glad. I'm sorry that you were feeling ill. It's 314 pounds in September, 273 and still on the grind. Way to go, Kreya. Keep it up. Keep crunching. <laughs> Welcome in, Para. How are you doing? Oh man, we're already at the two hour mark. We only have one more. Actually, I would say we're making pretty good time. We got one more set of uh, Arnold presses. Funny you say that. I don't do crunches. They don't lose me weight. They just make me feel fat. Crunches are not really a great exercise. They're just like, there are just so many other ab and core workouts that you can do. That's why you don't ever see me do crunches. Now reverse crunches, reverse crunches can get it. Reverse crunches can get it, hello. Do lift heavy weights and they make me feel <laughs> verified on Twitter. <laughs> well, all right. Get this last setting. Ask folks with reverse crunch. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on.
Coin. Back extensions are great. Are crutches the same as crunch wrap supremes? <laughs> Those are my kind of crunches. Have you heard the new FOB song yet? No, I haven't. Payback. I, I've been knowing, like, I subconsciously know that it's out there, but I haven't listened yet. Now, I did listen to the new Periphery tracks, and they do slap. They do slap. They are very good. It's so dope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I listen this afternoon. I'm, um, oh, quite honestly, extremely disappointed in myself that I haven't listened yet. See, I'm getting to that point in my bulk where there is nowhere for me to put this microphone that it won't rub up on something. It's fine. Do you listen to Coheed and Cambria? I go, um, I get like super fixated on Coheed like once a year, listen to them for a couple of weeks, and then just drop off. It's not perfect, but it works. When they came out with that dual concept album, I listened to that shit for like months. That was a long time ago, though. They were terrible live. I only had that one hit song when I seen them. Audio quality was bad. Couldn't make out a thing. Wait, they have a new album too? What? Yeah, go get that nose hair. We'll, uh, we'll listen to one Coheed song that just like immediately popped into my brain. Because they... Oh, add time. I'm going to BRB to get water. Be right back. Welcome back, friends. Tiger, hello. How you doing today, sir? How you doing today, friend? Not Joe leaving as soon as you showed up. Tiger usually gets, like, burned by ads or something along those lines. Tiger gets, uh, Tiger gets a little burn somewhere along the stream, and it's just not fair. How are you doing, Tiger? Welcome in. You are entitled to a nibble. Been lurking while eating homemade chicken pop, chicken pop pie. I love chicken pot pie. I do love chicken pot pie. All right, I'm going to pop on shirt. Well, actually, I won't. Tiger just got here. That's rude. They go to smaller venues, and some don't facilitate good audio. I've seen them live, and it was on cloud night. <laughs> Three days and six nights. <laughs> I'm sure they put on, like, a hell of a show, you know? Um,
Because the thing about their singer, Claud Claudio Sanchez, is that he has this, like, incredible voice, right? But he has the kind of voice where if you don't, if you don't allow for, like, volume and, like, really going out, he's going to sound a little bit crackly. He's going to sound a little bit crackly. Oh, I, I like Coheed. I really do. Um, I hyperfixate on Coheed like once a year. <laughs> once a year, I will just like listen to Coheed for like a month, and then I'll just com completely drop off them, or drop drop off of their stuff. <laughs> Welcome in, Tiger Bradley. How are you doing? How are you doing, Bradley? I hyperfixate on Coheed for twenty to thirty years. Yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like my music tastes. I end up jumping around a little bit. And I would never, like, judge anyone else for that. Okay, so we got Bulgarian split squats, lateral raises, and band press outs. Let me just get set up for those real quick. Because I know I'm kind of, I've been doing a fair bit of goofing. Fair bit of goofing today. We're having a good time today. We're having a good time today, aren't we, folks? I think we are. Do let me know if you're not. JK, don't tell me. My little heart can't take it. That's not true. Please give me feedback. What up, David? Super cool on Twitch as well. Doesn't stream often when he does. There's four to five hundred people there, so you can actually. Oh, that's nice. All right, I gotta do this set. We're gonna go back to this view so I can do my uh, Bulgarian split squats. They are important. Do not like them, but I will do them. I will do them for you. I will do them for me. Do them. Hooray! Hooray! Oh. Huh. Oh, you stink. Christmas music. That's good. Do it. <laughs> Thank you, Tiger. Ooh, Para. Para, what's going on? Oh, we got to do um, band press outs. I will go and get my band. Can we listen to a new Fall Out Boy song? Sure. That was the sub. That was the subtext of what Payback was asking for. And Payback was just like too polite to ask. New song, new song. Hello. We'll skip the Christmas song. Beauty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> oh, but yeah, bread. You're starting the weekend. Looking forward to hanging out. Hope we get a chance to enjoy the weather. You got good weather over there? We do not. Well, we just started getting snow. Which is nice.
This is the new song, right? Beauty. Miki Matsubara. Stay with me and Jazzy Night are two great ones. Brad, can you drop something in the Discord? Para, I appreciate you being. I appreciate you bulldozing today. I needed the push. <laughs> when are you going to tell me about these friends? This is a bop, though. I caught like the 10 second clip on uh, on YouTube because they put out that YouTube short. It's new, it's old. They all look like dads in the video. I don't watch, oh, I should watch the video. I should watch the video. I like it. It reminds me of, um, reminds me of um, what? It's giving me big save rock and roll energy. And like Mania was good, but like it's um like it's it's giving me a, a different energy than their most recent album. And I like the recent album. I liked Mania. I listened to it a bunch, but it feels so teen and angsty. Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good to like have a reason to be upset over nothing for a minute? <laughs> So to hear the rest of the album. Are y'all open to listening to the uh, one of the new Periphery songs after this? Because they're both very good. They're pretty heavy. Definitely a different vibe. But I was listening to them yesterday and having a really good time. Everyone, it's like that. Come on. I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna do the thing. Like most of their stuff, you gotta like be patient with it. But there's a payoff. There's a payoff. Oops and jams. I will check those out while I'm doing a little worky. That's okay, bread. <laughs> Dagger stabs. You're so welcome, Para. Oh, I absolutely will, bread. This is not necessarily the vibe I want everyone to get on like a first visit here, but it's okay. Oh, 
let's go. One more to go. We got one more set to go. So they've been like slowly. Do it. Do it. They've been slowly like working jazz into their albums. I'm here for it. It's coming. I don't know. I got. To, I certainly have time to do core today. I was thinking about just skipping it because I'm feeling kind of burnt out. We could probably get a couple moves in. The plan was hanging leg raises and then Russian twists after one more set of this stuff. So eight more squats, eight more lateral raises, 12 more band press outs. I gotta drop that. And I use the 60 pound band. Word. Um, oh no. Oh, question. Does the, does the volume of the music change when I change scenes? Like, significantly? Open a can of alcohol. Do it. Change scenes. Here, we've got an A, and then we've got a B right here. Enable me! <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Stays the same. Perfect. That is the desired outcome. A bit louder on B. All right. He's fine. We're gonna diaper up. <laughs> Jay, it'll be over soon. Actually, it's like a seven minute long song. But they just, they just released it. It's Dan! <laughs> One duck. <laughs> not complaining, just surprised. All right, word. I hope it's not putting anyone off. What up, Zacking Ball? <laughs> no, you're, you're good, Para. You're good. Welcome in, Zach. How was your lift today? Did you get it in? <laughs> Max Martinez. Thank you for the follow. I'm so put off right now. You gotta catch the saxophone solo. <laughs> is it snowing? It is currently snowing. Ooh. That's us. Chest day after. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. 
He used to play alto sax in high school band. Saxophone is a very interesting instrument. <sighs> Mosh pit in the jazz bar. That's right. Have you ever had a grilled chicken breast with a texture that can only be described as crisp, not crunchy, like the exterior is crisp or the whole thing is crisp? This is what I wonder. All right. Thank you for indulging me. Dan, how's your day? Did you run today? Lift day for you, PT day? Crisp. Do you know who Raymond is? If I said Raymond and Crisp, would that resonate with you? Today is nuts. Today is rest day. Tomorrow is six miles and walk. Nice. <laughs> Everybody loves Raymond. Not the greatest news, not a negative or anything. I'm still employed. Good. Oh, you still have a job. That's great. I'd love to hear about it. 93 minutes on a Zoom call with a sales rep about math. Better than a 93 minute Zoom call with a sales rep about meth, or even like a four minute call with a sales rep about meth for that matter, or a five minute call with the FBI about meth for that matter. Fiddle off, but it is free. I'm glad you got free crispy chicken. Some free crisp. They're going numb. I should probably be worried. Wait, Para, be okay. Please, don't let them go numb. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Cookie, Ru Cookie Monster Runnings. My name is Cookie Runnings. I used to have a counter on stream when I was on Mixer. All the Xbox kids would come in on brew days and ask if I was making meth. Wow. Did you tell them you were cooking pies with your baby? Any advice on growing your lower pecs? Peck height under the nips. Yes, I do. So this is probably something that everyone can hear. If you want to get, and this is something that I've been working on for a number of years, right? If you'll pardon me for this, right? If you want to get it to where you got a little bit of space underneath here, you really need to just like build out that full pec. So if you look at muscle diagrams of like how your pecs are built, all of the muscle runs from your shoulder kind of down and across. So if you are trying to build up your pecs. You should be hitting them from multiple angles and following progressive overload. The biggest thing I think that some people don't do when they're trying to get like better pecs is they don't eat enough. <laughs> if you want bigger pecs, you need to be in a calorie surplus or like at least getting lots and lots of protein so that you can do a um so that you can do a proper recomp. We need a close up. I'll give you one more for free. There you go. That's probably against TOS, but Brancy, welcome in. How are you doing? Yeah, Dan, I, I like your new name change, if I haven't uh, said so already. But the, the angles thing is, is the most is the the biggest piece of advice I can give for PEX, right? So if you are calorie surplus, so being on a being on a bulk, unless you are doing a body recomposition wherein you are reducing fat and adding muscle at the same time, which is possible, but is, is, it's difficult, right? Because you have to maintain high protein in your diet, but also maintain a calorie deficit. Like that would be a recomp. Um, but if you're bulking, you can add a lot more to your chest, right? <laughs> Being able to jiggle your own peck is one of life's greatest joys. <laughs> so if you do not know your total 
daily energy expenditure, go and check out that calculator. That's going to tell you what you need in a day to be or like roughly, right? It's an online calculator, but it's going to tell you how many calories you need in a day to be at maintenance. If you're trying to build muscle, the most optimum 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, I'm 170, no, sorry, I'm 185 pounds now. I'm not 185 yet, I'm 183, I lied. Slight decline or slight incline press versus flat bench. Flat bench, what's your opinion? Hmm. IG, my opinion is all of them, if you can make it work. How do you feel about mushrooms? Whoa, whoa, sorry. <laughs> But IG, I would say like, if you can make all of them happen, I think like the, the best way to like continual strength and hypertrophy and muscle growth is going to be doing heavier work on flat bench and hypertrophy work on um, incline and decline bench. I could look up your intake form, but I'm lazy and we're already here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up with that? I thought you looked too big to be 175. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm 183 as of Wednesday. So I haven't posted any updates because I'm just I'm not sure if it's gonna hold through next week. But but yeah, um kind of going back to the like 20 of anything throughout the week, right? Like 20, 20 sets of 20 sets for any muscle group, like not Max. No, Jade, it's okay. It's okay. Don't apologize. This is perfect. I stand mushrooms. I stand mushrooms. Did you used to weigh 150? The lowest I've been in a number of years, 164. Wait, hold on. If Cool Runnings was a mushroom, he would probably be a fun guy. No. No, we can't. I can't be a mushroom though because I've been watching The Last of Us, and the concept of that truly terrifies me. It truly terrifies me. If you don't, if you don't watch the first episode of The Last of Us and be like, "Wow, wow, wow," they literally said like climate change is going to actually murder all of us. Misfits box sent me two mushroom containers. We eat a lot of mushrooms. I made some nachos last night and loaded it up with sautéed mushrooms. Mushrooms are great. If you don't like veggies, if you learn to like mushrooms, you can like any vegetable by adding cooked mushrooms to it. Can't wait till Sunday. What's happening Sunday for you? The fungi that brings back ants and rodents. Yeah, so that's uh, that's essentially what um, that's what uh, the show is about. Sorry, The Last of Us. Yeah, I'm dealing with a lot of pandemic fatigue, anxiety right now, so I'm avoiding for a bit. Hey, I get that, Jade. I get it. I get it. Oh, Last of Us comes out on Sundays. Got it. Yeah, we watched uh, we watched the first episode on like Wednesday. Never try any of the random mushrooms off a run trail. Maybe a channel points redemption. Don't do it. They've been saying that for a long time that climate change would kill us and a shocking amount of people don't care and apparently want to see if it will happen. I mean, right? No, see, here's here's the thing that got me her stoner because I'm I'm you know there's a lot of things that I do in my daily life to like try to reduce my footprint, right? Um, I know that I use a lot of like lights and equipment when I do this, but I am like I'm always shutting stuff off. Like we're never we keep our house like really cold. We try to reduce our like single use product waste as much as we possibly can. Um, so a lot of things, but like uh, what I saw in the same day, I woke up in the morning. And I saw an article about how um, uh, ExxonMobil knew 30 years ago, like with shocking accuracy, what was going to happen if fossil fuels continued on like at the rate that they have. And like if they were going like they, they measured 30 years ago within like 0.2 degrees what the annual change of temperature was going to be if fossil fuels continued to proliferate in the same way that they have. They predicted it, they saw it, and then for that 30 year period, they spent billions of dollars trying to convince everyone that it wasn't actually a problem. 
And it's just like the most criminal thing. <laughs> and then I watched The Last of Us and like the opening scene from that show. This is not a spoiler. The opening scene from the show is just like, oh, gosh, sorry. I went off. Some streamers in your chat. We got a lot of awesome folks in here, IG. Can you tell me that BMI is bullshit and doesn't define it? Yes, I will tell you that exactly. BMI is bullshit. BMI is a measurement, right? BMI is one measurement that you can use to, uh, to take stock of your health, but it is not the entire thing. By a, by a BMI chart, I am an overweight person. BMI, BMI can get in the trash. Like, if, if you... If you are trying to look at lots of different measurements and lots of different metrics for your health, for your weight loss, for your progress, you can look at BMI. And I think like, as far as I know, the medical field is starting to get away from using BMI as a valid, um, as a valid measurement tool. But it's, don't, it's, it's nothing. It's outdated. It's outdated. Also outdated and good representation for people who aren't Americans. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, French Toast Avocado, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Corporations are pretty infuriating, but it's funny that people don't care about dooming future generations because they won't be around if they cause it to happen. I think that's changing. I, I honestly think that more and more people, especially younger generations, are getting to the place where um, it's becoming more normalized to just like care about the environment, right? Like I'm very thankful that I work for a place that prioritizes the health of the, the health of the environment and that we're like honestly talking about it a ton. Plan to pre-order Dead Island 2. I I I played Dead Island 1 a long time ago. BMI says I need to lose 80 pounds. <laughs> Top surgery sh quicker and shortcut that. Yeah, again, like BMI is just it's it's just gonna be one thing, right? Just gonna be one thing. Marijuana was propagated to be illegal because of the conversion of hemp to paper was going to shut down the largest newspaper provider. So he spread a ton of lies about that, doing people insane crimes after using got a ton of people. to. Oh, no, it's OK, Crea. Like uh, marijuana legislation in the United States has been one of the very. I, I am all about recreational legalization, regulation, regulize weed, Re regulize, regulate weed and make a bunch of money off of it. That's what the state should do. You're leaving money on the table, honestly. So we're gonna see who's uh, who's live and who we can bring y'all over to see today. Let's uh, let's see who's out there. We're gonna raid a uh, fox fox. Yes. Cool. Look like Daddy Joel. Don't don't don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just no way <laughs> uh everyone thank you so much for joining us for a lift today i really appreciate it i have to get back to work otherwise i'd love to hang out and chat a little bit more um on sunday on sunday we're going to be uh hanging out with paul stl and um paul stl and sam Political to play some seven days to die and i hope that you'll consider joining us for that if you would please grab one of these raid messages the first one if you're not a subscriber the second one if you are a subscriber it's going to look a little bit something like this uh, as tiger is sharing the socials and the youtube link please subscribe to the youtube channel i'm continuing to upload new stuff on youtube um, as well as old streams so if you want to catch up on some of the old lifts and all that stuff that's a good place to do it. Uh, I'm also taking requests for stuff that I can play on YouTube because I'm trying to build that out a little bit more. And we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers is my current YouTube goal. And I would love, 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 love to do that um, if you're willing to help. But yes, I'm going to go back to work. Y'all have a great day on purpose. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to someone else. Send someone a little message. Let them know that you're thinking about them. You could really turn someone's day around. And uh, just just rest. Get some Get some rest. Go hard and get rest. And It'll be all good. Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye.